coming. Who's coming? I tried to stop them, but they're an irresistible force, like the force from Star Wars, only evil. <sighs> That's the dark side. It's the same force, only it's used oh, for shut pure- shut up. What are you worried about? Don't you understand? My sisters are coming! Mother of God. Goodbye. I love you both. Call me when it's time for the honeymoon sex. Charlene! Jacqueline! My dearest sisters. I'm so... Happy to see you. How could this have happened? I've been so careful. I've been so good. I said all the right prayers. I donated to charity. I even volunteered at that home for wayward women. Um, I think you're referring to Deja Boob. That is a strip club. Why are they here? Well, I invited them. What? Why would you do that? I thought you loved me. Well, I needed help with the wedding. I don't understand. What's the problem here? Those women in there? They were spawned from the flaming maw of Hell's vagina. Weren't you spawned from the same vagina? They desire nothing but to see the destruction of all peace and joy and happiness and prosperity on this planet. And they will not rest until their demonic master's wishes have been fulfilled. I think you're being a little over dramatic. They can't be that bad. Once, they locked me in a darkened bathroom after summoning Bloody Mary. They left me there all night. I peed my pants on four separate occasions. Why? Weren't you in a bathroom? It was traumatic! Kids can be cruel. This was two years ago. Ugh, I'm still not surprised. So, how's things? Yeah, how's things? Um, um, uh... Dan's gonna kill me if he finds how we did this. Things are, uh... Uh... Will you excuse me for a moment? Look, they're here now, so I guess it's time to mend old wounds. You've opened Pandora's box, Samantha Cole. And there is not heart-shaped jewelry inside. Oh no! There is only death incarnate. Uh, this is super uncomfortable for me. It's like they have the plague or something. What is your problem? Well, back in college, I was really drunk one night, and I had sex with one of them. But for the life of me, I can't remember which one. Have you ever had a sexual experience where you weren't completely drunk? Of course. I... It's a little non-traditional, but I was thinking about having orchids for the wedding. Um, I know they come in a lot of varieties, right? Orchids? Seriously? Hey, she's got money now. She can afford it. Far be it from us to criticize a rich woman's taste. Uh, so orchids then. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'd also really like to have a live band. Um, here's a list of vendors. Um, if you guys could just give them a call and see who's available for the date. Why bother? Let's just call Bono. You can afford it. <laughs> yeah, you too really isn't my taste. Am I missing something? Is there some kind of problem? Oh, no. No problem. Oh my god. Is this your wine list? This is pretty top shelf stuff and let's be frank, you're not exactly top shelf material. Wow. Hey. It's not her fault we weren't smart enough to marry millionaires. More power to her. First off, I'm not marrying Dan for his money. Oh, you're marrying him for his charm and good looks? <laughs> she was right. It's pizza. <laughs> Terry, Richard, Colleen are ah, uh, FMIC. I signed your butt the other night while you were sleeping. Just face it, you really have nothing going for you. 
but you're marrying a guy who will allow you to continue living your stupid, lazy lifestyle forever. Well done. Birthmark! There was a birthmark on someone's right buttock! Which one of you has it? It looks like a maple leaf! Oh my gee, it's worse than I thought. Don't say a word. How did you even get a job here so fast? Technically I didn't, I just took Terrence's shift. Hmm. Hey Dan, hey Ter- Oh, jeez, who are you? I'm Samantha, Terrence's sister. Oh, okay. I, I just thought Terrence got a haircut or something. Where is your brain today, Gerald? <laughs> what are you even doing here? You were right. Your sisters are monsters. There's two in every family. But they made me realize something. I basically have no skills. I went to college and I got an English degree because it was the only subject that had cliff notes on every textbook. I contribute nothing to society. Well, that's not true. I mean, just last week you made me that plate of bagel bites. I burned them. They're better that way? Look, Dan, you're sweet, but I just can't marry you knowing that I'm a lazy, good-for-nothing lump on society's ass. If I keep going the way I'm going, I'm gonna turn out like my mother and shoot me if that happens. We've already discussed this. I can't kill anything with nipples. <sighs> Samantha, what you do for a living doesn't define who you are. You're a wonderful, thoughtful, intelligent, and loving person. Would I marry you if you weren't? Thanks, Dan. Now let's forget about this stupid work thing and go home. Are you making a vagina with my fingers? Yes. Okay, this is driving me nuts. What are you talking about? We're all adults here. Let's just get it out in the open. I had sex with one of you back in college. I know I did, but I can't remember which one it was. You guys gotta tell me. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, Terrence. Simple Terrence. Trust us, you didn't have sex with one of us. But I know I did. No. Terrence, you didn't have sex with one of us. All right, Cerberus, guard dog of the underworld, get out. What? No. You want us to go? Look, I know I'm not talented and stuff or skilled and junk, but, well, I love Dan and he loves me, and that is enough for us. I'm sure the 300 mil doesn't hurt. I've stood around far too long and let you two push me around. I'm not going to let you do it to Samantha. Get out. Fine. Can we RSVP in person, or do we still need to send the little card? Mail the card. There's a little place where you can circle what entree you want. Cool. Well, I'm sorry you lost your wedding planners. It's okay. I work better alone anyway. It's a lot of fun, a whole day. I'm 99% sure I had a three-way with your sisters. Attaboy. Very rude.